so uh, we like to think of ourselves as better than like the CB guys back in the day. And then this is the kind of stuff you get on uh, HF at uh, in the evening hours. Let's say this is uh, 40 meters, 7.200. It's roughly, I don't know, I think it's like um, 9.30 o'clock, or yeah, 9.30 o'clock, 9.30 Eastern time, but. And we're supposed to be better than CB. So you'll find this kind of nonsense on the radio, um, not only here, but uh, I've I've gotten it up on 80 meters. For some reason, 7200, uh, 7.200 is pretty common. This kind of stuff goes on pretty much every night. Um, If you spend any time on HF listening around in the later evening hours, this is the kind of stuff you'll run across. Like I said, we're supposed to be better than CB. Uh, You know, the CB and people uh, snub their nose at uh, the CB who are in the ham community. Um, But yet, this is the kind of stuff that it goes on at uh, in the evening hours. So notice no um, identification here, uh, no uh, call signs being um, put out or anything. It's just like a free-for-all. And to be honest with you, I don't really have an issue with it. I think it's kind of funny, but I uh, just thought I'd uh, bring it to light, show some people who um, maybe haven't witnessed this kind of stuff on the uh, radio. I'm sure anybody who spent any kind of time on HF has uh, run across this kind of stuff. And specifically, this frequency in particular, um, like I said, is uh, very common for uh, this, a- this kind of activity. So one thing that I was going to uh, show tonight is I have a resonant 40-meter uh, double bazooka um, hooked up to the FT991A, uh, and on my um, uh, 710, I have a vertical antenna, uh, non-resonant, obviously. But um, And I just wanted to get to a frequency and kind of show you the difference of um, the sound and what you're picking up with a resonant as opposed to a non-resonant. And so to keep the uh, uh, playing field the same, I have the IPOs just on IPO, so I don't have any of the uh, you know the preamps on to boost the signals at all on either of the radios. And I also have the um, filtering um, wide open. I have no filtering on either one. So um, just to keep things the same on each radio. So let me get to another signal here. Um, So this is both of them together again. Okay, so this this side right here is just the seven ten. So you can hear what you can hear there, and now this one is the nine nine one A. So you can hear, I'm switching back and forth, but you can hear how much more this resonant double bazooka is picking up compared to the um, uh, the vertical. And so I'm... Uh, oops, sorry. So, again, without any preamps on or anything. So I'm getting on the 991A with the resonant antenna. I'm roughly averaging um, about a, an S7 uh, with the signals coming in. And on this one, I'm staying at right about F5, S, uh, S6. But this one's bouncing up much higher. Um, you can see that... Uh, well, let me move this over here. 
you can see there's almost no movement um, on the uh, needle here with the communication going on with the people talking, let's say. Signals coming in. But if you look over here at the um, 991A, and you can see my uh, meter right here, the S meter. And let me see, I'll zoom in a little bit there. And again, that's with a uh, resonant antenna. And I'll go back to this one. And again, we're on the same frequency here, you know, 7.20. And with a non-resonant antenna. Okay, and so I have not tuned. Um, I Obviously, I don't need to tune the... Um, uh, the 991A because it's a resonant antenna and it's uh, the SWRs is fine on that. This one I would have to tune. So uh, let me see. Let's uh, take a look at that and see how much difference the tuning will make. So I got to shut this one off so I don't blow up my other radio here. And I'll hit the tune button over here. I don't know if I went over that. But anyways, the tune button's right here. All you do is push and hold and it'll go through. And since these guys are acting like they're acting, I don't really care if I tune up on them or not, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> I don't think they deserve any respect um, from the ham radio community for uh, this kind of activity. So, And hey, whatever. They do whatever they want to do. It's not, you know. So I'm not, not sure um, if that really did. It doesn't seem to be bringing in anything any better. So you can, just that POTA guy, that guy calling CQ POTA, which I know is not really a CQ POTA, but anyways, you can hear the difference on the uh, 991A, how well he comes in. Well, I guess you can't hear him now, as opposed to on this one. <laughs> so this is kind of some of the stuff you got to deal with. Sorry about that, the microphone. Trying to get it out of the way so that uh, I can jump back and forth between the two radios. But again, uh, you can see the signal up here. These guys are barely moving the needle over here. Coming in much better on this one. You can see how much higher the signal is coming on this. Again, resonant antenna and non-resonant antenna. So I think that's the first call sign we've heard. So you can hear how quiet... I don't know, for some reason I jumped off frequency there. I must have hit something left. You can hear how quiet it is right here, right now on this. But if I come over here... Well, that guy's pretty loud on both of them, but definitely getting uh, much better signals. And so I'm actually kind of glad that these guys are acting idiots like this on the air tonight because it really did give, uh, um, there was st uh, people talking all the time, so it gives us a good indication of how the vertical is performing, a non-resonant vertical is um, performing compared to a resonant antenna. And so just a little, um, this uh, double bazooka, let me uh, turn this down here so I can talk. Uh, the double bazooka that this is running on, 40 meter double bazooka, is roughly 30 to 35 feet up in the air on one side. I'm kind of running it as a sloper um, just because I haven't uh, got it put up right. And I don't really have a big yard to put it in, but the, so the other side, one side's like 35 feet, the other side is probably uh, 
12 to 15 feet up so just so you got a little idea of how this uh, antenna is um, stretched up up there <laughs> but anyways uh so this stuff's kind of fun these guys playing around i don't know um it's interesting to listen to it makes me laugh and uh i think uh i just think it's funny um that when you bring up cbs or something to uh the ham radio community people kind of look at you and yet this is the kind of stuff that you find on uh 40 meters hf band and you know and it's not a uh um, just today or kind of thing this is uh, this kind of stuff is happening quite a bit on the uh, air and I found it not only here um, in the evening hours on this uh, frequency in partic uh, particular which is actually a very common one and I think they call it the zoo uh, or something like that but anyways um, also on 80 meters I've found similar uh, things going on um at in the late evening hour so it's kind of fun to listen to if you're interested uh to, um and uh it gives you a good laugh i don't know and uh it, it doesn't really offend me so much I, maybe it offends other people but um i i think it's comical um, it's not for me. I don't get on. I don't talk to these people or anything. And I typically don't stick around too long. But um, every once in a while, I do like to jump over there just to uh, get a good chuckle, let's say. So we'll listen to a little bit more. And again, I just wanted to show you the difference between a the, uh, you know, the signal strength of and, and these are pretty comparable radios, I would imagine. And I'm not 100 percent sure, but I would imagine that the. Um, the receive section in each one of these, the FT710 and the uh, 991A here, are are pretty similar. So I think it's a pretty fair comparison, being as though they're both Yesu products. Um, they're both, uh, you know, relatively new radios. So, um, but yeah, resonant to non-resonant. Um, and uh, it's actually, like I said, it's a good thing that these guys are out here doing this kind of nonsense because... Uh, there's always uh, stuff going on on the frequency, so it gives us a good idea of how uh, the signals are being picked up. Not only that, you can also hear uh, the sound difference between the uh, with the AESS and uh, without without it. So you can hear that parks on the air there on this side, but barely anything coming through on the 710 vertical. But you're getting a lot much better on this one. Okay, YouTube, uh, that's it for this video. I, uh, again, this was, uh, I just wanted to give you a little demonstration on the difference between a resonant antenna and a non-resonant antenna and uh, what the advantage is. Uh, you know, you can actually, you know, you can hear what the advantage is to, as opposed to, sorry, I'm like messing with this, but um, here, that's a little better. But anyways, you can hear the difference um, uh, and the signals coming through, you could see it on the signal strength meter. And like I said, I think this is a fairly uh, decent um, setup to compare the two because, like I said, they're both Yesu products, so it's the same. Uh, and I would imagine the receivers on both of these are very similar. Um, so uh, if you can use resonant antennas, I highly recommend it. Um, it's a little tough. I mean, obviously, to have a resonant antenna for every uh, every band out there. 40 meters is one for me that I'm on quite a bit uh, because I do get on late at night. And uh, so that's typically a good band at night. Um, so that's why I have a 40 meter double bazooka, you know. Um, I mean, again, like I said, it'd be hard to have resonant antennas on all the frequencies. Um, but there are some... Uh, verticals and whatnot that you can tune there's like the Cushcraft r8 and some of those other ones and 
I don't know, it'd be interesting to see. I have um, like a Mosley three band vertical that I'm gonna get set up, so maybe we'll check that out and see how that compares uh, uh, as far as, uh, cause those are, that's a resonant antenna as well, although it's a trapped antenna. So maybe when I get that set up, we can uh, compare that to a, um, a wire antenna, let's say, and uh, do some more comparisons as far as that goes. But again, just a quick video, non-resonant antenna on the FT710, resonant on the 991A. Please like, subscribe, and uh, comment, or don't, you know what, how I feel about that stuff, but you know, I don't know, I guess you gotta say that. <laughs> so 73 and uh, KD2 ETP clear.